iRekids Inc. is a children's charity. Our aim is to help improve the lives of children across St. Lucia. On behalf of our founder, Lisa and Javis, and all the executive board members, we would like to present to the government and people of St. Lucia 100 oximeters. An oximeter is a device used to measure your oxygen level. I hope this will go a long way in helping us fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Our kids have been um, in St. Lucia for a while, working for the benefit of the young people of St. Lucia, the less fortunate. Um, as we know, we're in a pan pandemic. It's been there for a while now, and the, the duty to fight and prevent the spread of COVID is all of us, not just in taking personal responsibility and following the protocols, getting vaccinated, wearing your mask, sanitizing, social distancing. But if you can help somebody, as Ari Kids is doing right now, I think it will go a long way. I want to thank the Ministry of Health, the CMO, for partnering with us in um, receiving these. And I know she will ensure that it goes to the persons most in need. Um, we're hoping that this collaboration between the Ministry of Health Irie Kids and Rice St. Lucia is a continued one as we all are St. Lucians hoping and seeking to eradicate um, COVID-19 from um, our society, our country and the world. I just want to take this time to caution every St. Lucian. If you are not vaccinated, get vaccinated. I'm not here to sell you on the vaccine will provide immunity. What I can tell you is if you are vaccinated, the likelihood of you catching COVID and getting extremely sick and getting hospitalized and being a burden on our health system is extremely, extremely low. On behalf of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, the government and the people of St. Lucia, I want to recognize and thank the team from Irie Kids, Ms. Williams and her team, and also Dr. Sherry representing Rice St. Lucia for this, gen for this donation of pulse oximeters. At this point, as we manage the fourth wave, this is the highest number of persons that we have had requiring home care or home isolation. So these pulse oximeters will be used so that they can assist us in self-monitoring because as we know, COVID-19 causes respiratory signs and symptoms. And one of the early signs is that we know the oxygen saturation starts to go down. So this will be an extremely valuable tool to support our home monitoring program. We have a team of physicians and nurses monitoring our patients within the community. So this will assist us in getting a very early alert that someone may not be doing as well. Um, we are almost positive that they'll be used within the week and we will use them in a sustainable way so that when our patients recover, we can disinfect them and use them for other patients. The Ministry of Health, as everybody knows, we have been managing COVID for the last 18 months, and it is extremely important, those um, collaborations. We cannot do it alone. We need the support and the collaboration of different groups as we, we manage this pandemic together. So I, I really hope that this is just the start of a sustainable collaboration. We really appreciate um, this, this donation, and... I, I think it is so important what Dr. Sherry indicated. We are seeing in our data so far, and we just calculated the latest numbers, 98%. We only have 2% of persons who have been fully vaccinated, who have passed away with COVID-related um, symptoms. But those, the 2% had other serious underlying conditions. So the majority of our patients that we see at the respiratory hospital are unvaccinated. Those who pass away, the majority, 98% are unvaccinated. So we want to continue appealing to the public to keep themselves, their families safe. And just as Dr. Sherry very, very well said, we have to continue monitoring the protocols and to be responsible at this time. We are seeing a reduction in the rate of transmission, which is hopeful, but we cannot um, get complacent as yet. We have to bring the active cases a lot lower. We are seeing the increases in the recoveries, but we cannot get complacent until we let us get to a safe level before 
we, we make any changes. So I really want to thank the public for the cooperation. We know a lot of the public health measures are not easy. It's, everybody's frustrated at this point, but let us be patient so that we can get to a level of safety.